Hello, ladies and gentlemen. In front of us is the new BMW i7. So this is the new 7 series, of course, fully electric. There will be a uh, internal combustion engine version as well, but uh, we are gonna check this beautiful electric version. So I'm not gonna go to the tech specs. I'm gonna leave a, a link in the video description for all of you who want to see or read all the tech specs and the range. So I wanna check the car first. So uh, it's definitely something unique from BMW. With the new design we still have the big kidneys on the front they're closed of course since this is an electric car we have some air intakes on the bottom uh, and some flaps that open or close you can see the side tunneling on the sides and we have the daytime running lights on the top they're kind of flickering uh, on the camera and you have the two lenses on the bottom so the lights are now at the bottom uh, you can see the front windshield has the uv filter so it has like a blue shade if you come a little bit closer you can see the gorgeous LED lights and the BMW LED lights so these are not laser but uh, something different you have the blue elements for the eye for the electric version you have the badge there you have the BMW badge surrounded by the blue emphasizing electric you have the big radar on the front in the grill front camera I think there's a little washer nozzle there and you can see the grill is closed and there is an air intake on the bottom Now I'm just gonna do a little walk around from this end. So there is a lot of sun. So let's come to the other end. You see the whole car. Really elegant and I gotta say it reeks class. It reeks like some sort of Rolls Royce, maybe with all the chrome details. Nice big uh, alloys. So I haven't checked the inch of this, but yeah, this is a 21 inch. So 25540 R21s. And you can see BMW individual. These are gorgeous alloys. Looks like a diamond cut, but it's also painted. So this contrasting gray color. And we have a side skirt, but you can see a lot of ultrasonic sensors. So this car could probably self park and have the 360 cameras. We have a massive heads up display on the front. New curved screen is gonna be introduced in all new BMW cars. And you can see cameras for lane assist, recognizing traffic, speed limits, and so on, light and rain sensor. There is a panel roof, it's tinted. And you can see the little strikes, probably not on the camera, so. Uh, but I will show you that from the inside. We have a antenna on the top. There is blind spot warning and a physical mirror. You can press here, the doors will auto represent or you can press inside, open manually. Another look of the alleys, of course, you get real disc brakes on the rear. Now, checking the rear, of course, you can have shades inside on both uh, rear and sides. And then checking the details, BMW LED lights. This is kind of familiar signature design coming from the 3 Series and then going all the way to the new iX. But still keeping classy 7 Series design. Now, since this is a fully electric car, we have like a really discreet diffuser with some blue elements. You can see the fog light below the license plates and we have the, this is the X-Drive 60, also back in camera on the rear. You press here and we can open up cargo space, you can see that. So over here we have 500 liters of cargo space. As you can see, it opens fairly tall and it's very wide and easily accessible if you need to put some cargo space. If you're wondering what's the noise, it's the uh, Bugatti Divo behind. Uh, okay, so there's a loading area here, maybe of seven fingers of height. And inside you have grocery hooks, you have space on the side, only on the right side, but you can still put a golf, golf clubs here. You have a middle uh, opening for like skis, but it can be only open from the inside. You have a first aid here and some latch points. There's a little LED light in the middle. 
and underneath this is full of stuff but uh, there is like a little place you can put maybe your charging cables but we've <laughs> added the emergency uh, triangle over there and you have the LED on the top you can either lock or just close now uh, let's check the presenting doors so they open quite nice you can still move the doors if you need to go a little bit but this is the max so it's kind of practical to get inside if you're chauffeured or in case you need to put a child seat uh, checking the seals you can see so many seals so here definitely you have a good soundproof checking that and we have exquisite material so there's a leather here great contrast this is pre-production car by the way and we have perforated leather uh, this is to automatically open from the inside or close we have beautiful Bauer and Wilkins speakers and we have a screen but we're gonna check that uh, later just to show you here cloth speaker here this is like flint inside and you have shades here the windows are also tinted uh, look over here now not 100% sure I, actually you can't you can't uh, lower the seats I saw that from the inside obviously uh, you can see so this is like a early model so there will be some like details sticking out but this is not a production model you can see here nice cushions perforated leather and some textiles so it's really nice and gorgeous inside we have some also high quality carpets and BMW i aluminium doorstep let's jump inside so we don't listen to that Devo sound you can see that it's definitely having problems uh, uh, passing through here if you press here to close you can see that now uh, just to show you immediately so two meter tall person plenty of headspace I can relax and I can recline the seats there's also massage options as well now I'm gonna try being quick you can operate power windows here you can lock or unlock from the inside you have this screen here uh, you can open the panel roof you can see that or you can have the shade there and you have here the climate options you can play with music you can see the Devo passing by if anyone's interested in that it's quite loud um, back to the review over here you can swipe to unlock uh, you can close this up you can see that so less sun and then you can watch the screen of course I'm gonna come back to the screen so we have many options here I'm not gonna go uh, you can open all you go to the home here you can see you can find uh, media radio you can fire up a TV um, phone my moods display option seat option blinds uh, lights so you have ambient lights here if you press here you can turn them on you can play with those so have them on you can change call the temperature and so on you can control the illumination so you have those over here and your lights for reading um, now again this is the screen here you can go to media and you can operate with the TV uh, you can also play with the TV options but I'm gonna cut that later uh, you also have ambient lights you can see them here and here now a uh, feet room you can also see ambient lights there okay feet room I think the seat is in the lowest position you have plenty of uh, knee room uh, you can see the front seats this is all covered by leather it's hard plastic covered by leather of this nice pockets nice design over here you have a um, tablet holder and a USB-C for fast charging and I love the wood detail here it's quite exquisite have uh, evidence in the B pillars you have hooks there another speaker here hook here this is also covered by leather no one does that as far as I've seen in the car industry and I really do pay a lot of attention to details I love this wood this is rubberized so you can control where you want the air blow speed and you can open or close you have here a little rubber mat it's quite long you can see my fingers go all the way so 
can maybe put a phone here. I'm not sure if it's wireless charger or not. I think it might be because you have one here. So I've, I've showed you this. So this is closed. You can like lock it in and then open it. You can see this is quite soft, but the, I wouldn't fit a like a third person on the rear. This is for two people. You can see this extends up. This seat could go back and then you can relax only on that end. So if you open this, I'm sure they're gonna fix this uh, sound. You can see there's quite a room here. There are two USB-Cs for fast charging and a little light. This is flint. And there is this and then this if you need to put a skis or some sort of longer object. It's there. So this is how it looks when it's locked into place. You can unlock this one and then put it down. You have tether points on the rear for the kids. Love the cushions. Something we saw like in the S class. I would prefer Alcantara, but of course I believe you could customize all of that. Now for the doors, I've, uh, you can press here to open manually. There is emergency latch release there. And then there's the auto opening. Now on the top, we have a 8K screen. There is a camera here and there are connectors, HDMI, uh, headphones, and USB-C. So you can stream, of course, stuff from your phone. Now, if we go here, actually, I'm gonna just slide to this side. It's gonna be more natural since I'm a right-handed person. Um, if we unlock this, you can see here, we can go to screen, display. You can, watch this, you can put the screen closer move it there and you can tilt the screen so if you want that you can fold it up let's see that so it's gonna just rise up so that's how that looks and it goes there but uh, if we extend it I'm pretty sure they're gonna like fix this and put some lube on it so uh, it doesn't do the sounds Okay, everyone, so here's the screen. I'm going to switch to a wide lens so you can see the whole screen. Uh, now there's a movie playing here and um, you can play, you can see you have climate options here. Uh, of course, I showed you, you can tilt the screen. Uh, over here, you can play with the settings. Uh, you could change the temperature there and you have options. Uh, there are input options, you can see here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom back in so you can see better. Now this is a 8K display monitor, but the movie itself is maybe 4K. So over here you can you can tilt the screen. You can uh, turn off. This is in German at the moment. Again, this is pre-production. You can zoom in to the video um, or zoom out. You can play with those things. You can close the screen. Uh, there are options if you go. So if there's two people sharing the video. Uh, let me show you back to the wide lens. You can turn the movie towards yourself or you can turn uh, the movie towards the uh, passenger. So BMW did think of all the options, so that's pretty cool. If you ask me, you can play here with the, with the volume option, you can play with the Bluetooth, again, you can connect uh, or with Bluetooth and share your like YouTube videos. You can watch car reviews over here or whatever you want. Uh, Bluetooth options, audio settings. This is still in development mode, so uh, this is not like fully uh, working. I mean, there are some still uh, maybe small bugs they need to fix and polish out the final product. But you can see here you can connect the HDMI, USB-C, or uh, you have two volume jacks if you want to have headphones on the rear. There are display options here. Uh, there's an input option, uh, audio option. You can see those and uh, you can mute that. As you saw, you can tilt the screen. Uh, you can put it closer to you, although I don't think that's uh, really good. Uh, and that's pretty much it. You have the uh, options on both ends. Zooming back in and input. Gonna go to uh, so Amazon Fire TV, so Amazon Prime videos. Uh, you can of course go to Netflix, YouTube, and Amazon Music. Um, I'm sure they're going to you know, like 
Uh, you have also like a remote, so that's that, and you have a home here. So these are grayed out because they're in, again in development. Uh, that's it. Now, uh, what I wanted to show you here on the rear is another thing that's quite practical. If you go up, if you go to the seat, uh, you can see here the climate uh, cooling, but you can also see here you have a massage option and you have the adjustment uh, over here. So you can lay down and if you choose that, you can see that the front will go down. Just push it. Just push it. So uh, if you want to relax, the seat is going to the relax option. Now you can see that as well. Now I have my sneakers on, so I'm gonna just keep my feet up, not to, uh, you know, <laughs> I don't wanna make the car dirty, but you can see that. So this is fully like extendable. Now, of course you can put your feet up, uh, this goes up and you can relax in the car while you're being chauffeured. So you can watch Enjoy TV. So you can see how this looks. You can relax back, uh, this is pretty cool. So let me just switch to the wide lens and so you guys can see how this actually <laughs> looks. So this is pretty cool. So. Uh, I'm not trying to save the seats, uh, but um, if I go back, I can put it to number two, then it's going to lower down. Now, uh, only the, of course, front passenger seat can go over there. So this one doesn't have the extended option there. And the level is finished up. Now if we press cancel, I think it's gonna bring back the seat. And you have a level one. This kind of puts you into more up the right position. And you could put this to a, of course you can control here, options for the the other seat for this one and you can reset both of the seats so this will put back the front seat into the front position you can also see ambient lights up there just I'm honestly blown away with what, what BMW did here I think they've really uh, defended their reputation uh, when it comes to uh, innovation engineering and development uh, definitely impressed. So if you exit, of course you can just press here and lock that up. So on the front you also have the self-opening. Now they can open wider. I think there's maybe even an option to program uh, how far you want them to open or they memorize your last uh, width. So on the front excellent seals as well and we have leather also like uh, cut aluminum and you can see speakers through inside there's also ambient lights you can see here you can control the uh, electronic seats you can see here massage options memory seats you can lock and lock and this changes colors it's it looks gorgeous I know there's a lot of Sun so you can see that you can open or close the trunk from the driver position you can fold or electronically adjusted mirrors all are automatic and power windows you can lock the rear or control the shades and of course you can hear open up and manually open on the bottom there's a good bottle area this is covered by leather and a little flint inside and it's all stiff but covered with leather now over here you can see information and you can see also extra seals so for a good soundproof you can see the seven there and you can see the seat to this extends the knee area. You have okay bolsters. Uh, of course, I think you have cooling and heated seats, standard battles. And over here, you control the air vents. You have the automatic option 
opening here. I think this is for the light beam. And this is, your lights are automatic, you control that. You can control fog lights, you can control electronically the steering column. And you can see that. So let's jump inside and check the space where you're probably gonna spend most of your time. We can close this up since we do have this option. This feels like for very, really lazy people or just for a show up. Now let's switch to the wire lens and voila. So this is a beautiful point of view. Uh, I love the new two screens that are connected in one big bezel. They're kind of curved, so they're like more facing the driver, but still uh, you can see them nicely from the uh, passenger, front passenger. You can see the heads up display over there. And let's zoom back in. So uh, immediately not to forget to show you headspace on the front. I haven't adjusted the seat, but I think it's in the lowest position. There is enough headroom despite the glass roof, which is usually not the case. Now, uh, let's check the steering wheel first and then we'll go through the dash. So we have a nice textured leather. This is gray, of course, I believe you can change, choose like black or maybe brown or different leather options. Uh, this steering wheel is from the iX, at least design-wise. have the new horn. I like the colors, aluminum, brush, and you have some here settings for the cruise control, speed limit, and so on. And over here you have the infotainment option there, so we can control music, phone calls, voice commands, settings, and so on. You have your light controls there, turn signals, and your wiper controls. And then looking out of here, we have some wood uh, leather. This is kind of padded, but more like stiff underneath. You have the uh, A Phillips and Alcantara side. Uh, blowing here for the mirrors and gorgeous mirrors by the way uh, you can see the heads of display so if I zoom in excuse me uh, well kind of lost it there let me zoom back out so that's weird I can see it but the camera can't so okay um, I think my focus is oh I can see it there yeah, that's a certain angle. Okay, and there you can <laughs> you can see it there now. Uh, sorry. So, uh, going back to the dash, uh, there is like this textile material there. There's another speaker there. You know, the speaker you can see uh, warm goes red and then blue. So this lights behind that crystal design change. This is of course plastic, uh, like this uh, 3D elements. So this is I guess for the fan speed I guess this would be the love compartment it's uh, quite I would say spacious you can see that there's some stuff here private stuff so I'm not gonna touch that and uh, you can see also air vents are controlled here and uh, it's a really nice dash uh, over here we have a wireless charger we have two I think yeah you kind of pull it like that and there's two adjustable cup holders I think this could be like cooled or maybe yeah I'm not sure I'm gonna be lying now uh, there are some ambient lights here so it might have, kind of, uh, it might have insinuated, insinuated that uh, there's some ambient lights here now this we saw in the iX you have this for the uh, for the screen control at the shortcuts navigation phone and uh, media home screen back there are parking cameras here you can see that's a quite sharp resolution you can of course change here the views uh, 3d car wash option uh, camera cleaning front rear or you can see like settings and play with all of that uh, over here you can I guess control the driver assistance uh, iconic sound drive off support and charging options and so I guess not sure if it has air suspension honestly I haven't read uh, the spec I wanted to see the car in person and I get to uh, not see other reviews and here you can have my modes so close message so if we press here my modes you can see you have relax expressive efficient sport and personal and over here you have this 
for the volume option. It's very nice, like diamond design. You can mute volume, skip music. Uh, your start stop is here. And then this would be your, your reverse neutral drive, electronic park brake and auto hold. Beautiful design, a little piano black, not too much. I've been talking to uh, BMW engineers and uh, I've been mentioning people don't like piano black. They're kind of surprised. Oops. They were kind of surprised at that, but um, I guess they will uh, reduce the piano black inside the cars. If you press here, you have a uh, 12 volt outlet to USB C, there's a flint and rubber mat, a light, okay, space. And um, they added this so on both ends. So if you have a cable, it's not going to get squished uh, in the middle. And this is perforated. I'm wondering if this has a cooling option, just like the seats. So it is uh, comfortable on the top, but you also have a speaker there. Now to wrap up, uh, there's a good overview on the rear. I can guess because there's a screen lowered at the moment. The baseless mirror and on the top you have classical BMW lights. You can control the shade from uh, the front. And over here you can either turn on or off the lights. If you like turn it off or off when the lights are on, I can control the screen here so I'll check here the view on the rear is good and you can press here to press the emergency call in case of god forbid an accident on road and over here this is all in an Alcantara you have a beauty mirror you can put some documents here and let's see if this extends if it covers the whole window and nope I think we could add this because this area is not covered but it is fairly long so it's good and uh, to briefly cover the screen so we saw this in the ix uh, there are plenty of options when you choose this modes the graphic user face colors change to the streams but it's uh, easy to use it's very fast and responsive still a link to this so uh, fairly also easy to use while driving it's not distracting there are a lot of menus inside menus BMW still uh, I guess likes that but with this you memorize stuff uh, you know you play on a uh, on a parking for maybe a few minutes and you, you can explore all the options so I'm not gonna go through those but I do want to see uh, one of the options which are people are probably interested and in, that is the that is the uh, EV charging. So if we go back to moods, um, actually to the, let's go back to the home. I thought I saw a charging options. There's a menu here, charging. Okay. And so we have AC limited to, we can actually can limit it to the amps. And let me see here, just a quick look of that charging time. So you can set a limit, I guess, and precondition the battery, really important when you're traveling and you need a fast DC charging. So you can, you can browse the locations. And to wrap it up, just to see the digital cockpit, um, I guess uh, the parking sensors were left on because we did play with the camera. So that might be the reason. Okay, I've turned it off by pressing there. And you can see the graphic resolution is super sharp. Uh, despite the sun, there isn't a lot of glare, and you can see current uh, range is 206 with 40%, 48% of battery. So, I love the screen. Let me just see if I can quickly browse through it. I think there are options if you go here. Uh, this controls the content you can see. I love the colors on this one. So, you can control here, and you can see. So I'm just gonna go through these so you can see. You can have classical speedo, you can have the range in miles and kilometers, and you can have you can here see the navigation options, maps, G forces I guess, and radio options, uh, media, and so on. You can see actually augmented view. So I guess with the navigation, it shows you where you need to turn. And then there's an, another option. So you press the roller here. Just to wrap it up, uh, you can see the heads-up display there. 
and you can change options. You can see pedestrians. Actually, the camera is kind of, you can see that there. If I go quickly through those, I know it's daylight, so the camera is struggling. So a little bit more of the uh, infotainment. If you go from the home screen to the apps, you can see all the apps and you have a lot of information here. So you can control from the main screen the TV options and the rear, which is uh, of course an option if I forgot to mention that you can have Apple and Android Auto, you can have radio, phone calls, navigation settings, and then you have vehicle apps. So I'm not gonna go through each of these, but you can see that you can see here display options, you can see heads up display option, instrument cluster, and so you can convert speed have on the top miles per hour kilometers per hour for the US or UK so there's so many options and I'm gonna I'm gonna go through those but I just wanted to show you that and of course it's really easy to use that uh, roller there so you can see all that is quite interesting and you have the massage options as mentioned which is a lovely feature especially when you're on a long journeys and just to show you the navigation it has nice and it's fast when you're zooming in zooming out you have 3d buildings and so on of course charging stations so guys also cutting this in uh, talk with the BMW engineers in case if uh, for some reason there's a bug and the screen is froze there's an option to do a uh, reset. So what you do is you press down the volume button with the roller and you hold it down for 30 seconds and then the infotainment will reset and boot up again. So it should fix if the screen froze. And that's it. I'm going to wrap it up here because this is now becoming a really detailed video. Uh, there is no frunk. So that's gonna be it. Uh, we can use the automatic opening and wrap up the video. So we can also close here by pressing there and that closes up. So that was the full review. Tell me in your comments, what do you think about the new i7 or the 7 series? I think this is really huge step up for BMW. They're definitely improving. And when you thought, you know, they've, uh, had no new ideas they surprise you and they bring something new and they bring more value for the brand definitely interesting to see how much range this is going to have on the road uh, but it's definitely the future and the next step so thank you for watching we're going to see you in the next one subscribe if you like the content and click the little bell to get notified when i upload new videos stay safe bye